New at 10, Monday social media was flooded with reports of sightings of an animal that has some people scratching their heads as to how it got here. That's for sure. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Garrett Evans is live in studio to tell us all about it. Garrett? A nine foot alligator in Fayette County. We spoke to officials with the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency to learn more about alligators and why you may be seeing more of them in West Tennessee. It's gator mania in West Tennessee. Plenty of people in northern Fayette County posted pictures to social media of a nine foot alligator near the intersection of Booth Road and Old Jackson Road. People don't typically think of Tennessee, especially West Tennessee, as in the historical range, but it is, and what we're seeing are alligators naturally expanding back into the area. <laughs> While this alligator received plenty of social media exposure, it left many wondering why an alligator would move to a place like West Tennessee and survive in the winter. They actually can do that very easily by going into a hibernation-like dormancy called brumation. And what it does is it allows them to withstand periods of ice by sticking their snout out of the water before it freezes, and it allows them to continue breathing while it is frozen. Amy Spencer with the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency says they have had confirmed sightings in Shelby, Fayette, and Hardin counties since 2018. This is just a testament to the biodiversity in Tennessee, and we're going to see more of these, and we just ask people to enjoy the wildlife, but also do it from afar. So, if you see an alligator, how do you react? Spencer says in the state of Tennessee, the animals are protected, so any attempt to kill them or capture them is a violation of the law. If you see one, let it be. Don't feed it or harass it. We saw videos yesterday of someone poking the alligator. That is the number one thing not to do, and that is um, falls under our definition of harassing wildlife, and you could be cited for that incident. Now, some comments on Facebook suggest the alligator was released by the TWRA. Spencer made it very clear they have never released alligators in Tennessee. Terry? All right, thanks, Garrett. In March, a fisherman in East Tennessee caught a four-foot alligator in a lake near Menardville.